And then um, my fam annual family reunion is coming up in July. And I think I've explained on a video before that we have an auction every year that helps to raise money for the next year's event. And I usually make some items to sell at the auction. So I made a, s a couple of sets of note cards. And Dollar Tree had these little um, um, chipboard boxes. And they're black. And they, they had two different sizes, kind of a small and a large. And they have a magnet closure. Um, so I, I picked up about a half a dozen of those one day and I thought this would be really cool to alter and then put some cards in. So the first set I did, I didn't alter the box, um, you know, a whole lot. I just put some paper on it. Um, and this is how that turned out. Again, this is the Kane Company. Uh, it's from the Wild Raspberry Stack that I got. I got it. Um, I think up Tuesday morning. So I just did, a, you know, covered part of the box with it. And so I just made these little stationary boxes. And then this set, or this one has a set of cards inside of it and um, some of these little, um, I don't know what these are called, pillow boxes maybe is what they're called. So I made six cards and three pillow boxes for this set. So let me go ahead and show you the cards first and they're each a little different they're all using the same paper collection they're each different but they all kind of have the same coloring so um, this is the first one and I used some trims from I believe the trim is from Fog Frog Feathers it's a little ruffled gingham trim use my Nesty's dies um, this is a um, hero art sentiment and these are some more of those basic gray brads. Oh no, these aren't the basic gray. I think these are Doodlebug. Anyway, um, this is a. Oh, I got the new Sizzlet from Stampin' Up. That's the it em cuts and embosses the butterflies. I don't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with the names of things, but it's really cute. I love it. I don't know if you can see the embossing there, but um, I love that little Sizzlet or embosslet, I guess is what they're called. And then I just put some pearls on it. And n none of these are not finished on the inside. They're just plain so that the person who purchases these can use them however they want to. And then on the back I have my little uh, Mindy Made It thing. So there's the first one. This is the second one. And I used um, an MFT die here. Um, I'm not sure where this die, what die this flower is. I should know, but honestly, I don't. I'm sorry. I put all my supplies away. And then this is a little um, a leaf embosslet, also from Stampin' Up. And um, this is some trim from. I believe that is from uh, Webster's Pages. And these are some more of the Doodlebug brads. And then um, this is a, a sentiment from Hero Arts. Thinking of you. And all these are on paper tray ink base. And they all use the Wild Raspberry um, design paper from King Company. Alright, and then here's this one. And I used another MFT die here to make the little um, scallops on the side. And this is some more of that Frog Feathers trim in a different color. Um, it's hard to see, but it's a gingham um, ruffle trim. And then this is a little embosslet die from Stampin' Up! as well. Um, I think it's called Blossoms and Birds or something like that. And um, so I used that. And then this is my Well Worn Greetings label die. And then this, it, You Make My Heart Happy, is another Hero Arts sentiment. I really like the Hero Arts sentiment stamps. So there's that one. And then um, this one is uh, fairly simple. I just used some flowers from my stash, another Hero Art sentiment, and this is just some kind of glittery ribbon from my stash too. And then I rounded the corners with my corner rounder. Super easy, super simple, but I really liked how this one came out. And then here's the next one. And I used my Tim Holtz. Um, I think it's called Old Jalopy. 
die and um, in the 70s you would see like in the van you would see this um, bit large um, pom-pom trim hanging down in people's cars and so that's kind of why, what I was inspired to do here. So this was kind of my throwback to the 70s. I was a child in the 70s and um, really loved um, all the... I grew up in a, a, a small mountain town where there were a lot of hippies and um, it was kind of cool to... Uh, this just totally reminded me of that. But anyway, this is a um, little chipboard sentiment from... Um, Sorry, I don't have that with in front of me either. I'm sorry, I got it at Joann's, on, um, and I really like it. It came with a whole, whole, a whole set, and oh my goodness, Melody Ross. Sorry, it was a Melody Ross um, sentiment, and I can't remember the name, the paper line, homespun something, I think, but um, it's really, really cute. I love it. Trust the journey. So that's that one. Oh, and all these little flowers are from um, I Am Roses. They're their little daisy petals, and I've colored each of them with a different, um, I think these, I think they're all three homemade um, glimmer mists that I made myself out of reinkers and some perfect pearls. Okay. Sorry. Last one is this is the Tim Holtz uh, new telephone vintage telephone die, and just use this this little high came from a a really old um, clear stamp set like when they very first came came out the clear stamps and um, I don't even know that it was probably Stampendous or something like that it was a set that I got from Joann's um, probably about eight years ago. But um, I thought that high sentiment fit perfectly in the center there, the cutout where the uh, where the dial was. And then this is a Prima flower from my stash, and then I just layered. I think this is from that Flowers and Blooms um, embossed bud as well, or um, Sizzlet. And then these are some Doodle Bug brads. And again, the sequin on the inside. So that's the cards. And then I made three little pull boxes to go with it. And I got a pill box at Home Goods for like 30 cents. And brought it home, tore it apart, and I used it as my template to make these. <coughs> so I made this one. These are all using paper tray ink paper. And then this one. And then this one. And so these will all go in the little gift box and this one hopefully will purchase for size in, in the auction and have a nice little you know we'll have several little cards to to give and some little pill boxes to give as gifts. So that's that set. And then the next set I'm not quite finished. I haven't altered the box yet, but I made a set of Um, watercolor cards and this is using watercolor paper um, a Hero Art stamp and My Distress Stains. Um, this first one, oh and this is a Hero Art sentiment, see the flowers smiling. This first one was um, one of my first attempts and I got it a little too wet and so you can see it's kind of um, smudged a little bit but I, I think it's okay. I really like the effect and I like the imperfectness of these because they are supposed to look like watercolor. And all the bases on these are paper tray ink and then um, the, the, the part on top is actually, or the paper on top is actually watercolor paper. So there's that one. And here's one with some reds and olive greens. I really love how that one turned out. And then when they, after I had um, put the stains on the stamp and stamped it, I dried it with my heat gun. And then I went back over with distressed stains to do the grass in the sky.
or not distress stains, distress inks. And then here's this one, which is kind of a rainbow colors. I really like that one too. It's beautiful. And then this one. Each one is different and unique, and I just love them all. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get this one up. I might have to bid on it myself. And then this blue and kind of green one. So that is my card share, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And thank you for your prayers regarding our forest fires and wildfires. And um, hope everybody stays cool. Take care. Thanks for watching.